One last thing that we'll find useful as well uh, as we go through here is this little option here which are, is our object snap tracking. Now it works very much in a similar way to what we've got here but what it allows me to do is if I say I'm going to have a line if I hover the mouse over this point I can actually start that line a specific distance and can you see there we've got our extension yeah so I can actually just say well I want that to be 15 and there you go my line is now starting exactly 15 units away there we go you can see the end point 15 there away from that base plate okay so you use this in conjunction with your polar snapping so you've got your polar tracking there and what we've got here now is our object snap tracking okay so obviously a line is an object circle is an object rectangle is an object and I'll start my first point for that and I'll just come out here and I'll maybe make that as I say 15 and then my second point now one thing I do I will say is when you're doing uh, rectangles try and avoid your polar tracking lines because there it's just going to give me my 26 as a diagonal and really what I want is I want it to be able to specify the X and the Y for the rectangle. So the thickness of this plate may well be 10 and the height is going to be 75. Enter. Uh, in actual fact that was wrong, the height should have been 100 so I will go back and do that again because that was my own fault. There we go. I will track off that by 15 and then my other point is going to be 10 wide tab 100 there we go that fits so now what we've got is our u-shaped plate and we've also got its profile here really that's all we need to know about using our um, our object snap tracking it's really just used for if I wanted to put a circle in here I'll say there and I'll track out and I'll come out by 35 there's the center of my circle and then I'll give myself a radius of 10 nice and easy nice and simple